in maps or the more commonly known as vision boards. In May or June of 2011, life wasn't really what I wanted and I was really struggling to work out the best way forward. I knew something needed to change and I had no idea how, what, when or what was going to happen. So I found through various means and I actually don't even know how I got in contact with her, a lady by the name of Donna McCollum or the Fairy Godmother. And yes, she is my Fairy Godmother and yes, she rocks her wings. And went to this workshop not knowing what to expect, but I just knew something had to change, something had to be different. So, hi Di, thanks for joining. Um, we proceeded to go through the workshop and I created this dream map and I really, I wasn't sure about this at all, but I thought, well, nothing else has worked up until now. Something, something else is gonna to have to shift, it really has to. So, I took my dream map home not really thinking anything much about it. I'm like, okay, chalk that experience up. No, take it off. Let's go and see what's next on the experience list. And it wasn't until much, much later that I actually realized what had happened. I had followed the process and there's a whole way that you go through this. And I didn't think anything was moving and I didn't think anything was changing. And I carried on with my life. And then in October 2011, six years ago, in fact, six years ago today, my life changed dramatically and completely. And when I look at the picture of my dream map, my central photograph that I, well, my picture that I pulled out of a magazine was that of a lady painting, facing a blank canvas. And that is exactly what I landed up with on in fact, I moved in on the day of the 10th of October. So 10, 10, 2011, I moved in to a new flat. I'd uprooted my life. My kids, adult kids that they were, they thought their mom and dad were settled and everything was hunky-dory. So I'd upset their lives as well. Um, my ex as well, he was another one that was a, a thing. Dogs were shunted around, house was sold. And I moved into a place that was brand new to me. It needed a lot of changing, it needed a lot of painting and a lot of facelifts and things like that. But it was my space and my home and it was something that I could do for myself. And then as time went by, um, my then partner and I got together and I then had another moment where I went back years later and looked at photographs and there was a photograph that i had put on my left hand side of the of the the dream map and it was a picture of a woman with a man and it's the first time i've ever used a couple in anything that i'd done anything about and she was standing behind him with her arms around him and they were laugh laughing and smiling and i realized hang on i've got a photo like that of greg and i exactly the same position just yeah and and it was within months that this had happened i also manifested the same kind of or similar kind of watch to what was on my dream map i manifested the camera lenses that i'm i'm passionate about my photography the camera lenses that are on there i have now got one of those really nice big lani camera lenses it's not a canon and i don't care it does what I needed to do. It's a nice 300 mil zoom lens and it takes the most fabulous wildlife photos. There's a picture of a Blackberry on there too. Hey, guess who got a Blackberry in that year? Not even realizing because I didn't keep looking at this thing. I didn't realize what I was creating, what I was manifesting, but I put the process into place. And the other pictures that are on there of uh, warm indulgence, freshen up your finances, those things happen, celebrating new beginnings. I noticed at the bottom where I had the picture of the lady with the, what, the canvas, underneath it said, go with the flow. And the flow experience is something that I've been part of with Tamir and um, quite a few other people for uh, past three years now. Flow experience is three years old. 
not even realizing six years ago that this is where I was heading. So things sometimes work very, very quickly, and other times they just need to go a little bit slower. And the, the picture of the little baby at the top, no, I didn't manifest any more kids, <laughs> nor grandchildren. <laughs> but it was, we'll stretch you this much. And it was, and that thing of stepping into a new dimension, because yes, I really, really did. I followed my passion, I followed my heart. And I just can't get over how significant it is and, and how many things that you can create by simply taking what appears to be random photos out of a magazine, cutting them out and sticking them on a piece of cardboard and sticking that piece of cardboard up and keeping it in mind and watching how the things change. I've been to so many places since I've created that. I've, I've got photos and things that are so similar to what is actually on here that it's almost as if somebody somewhere was reading my mind. Um, yeah, they sure were because I changed my life to such a degree just through this. And there's a process that um, I followed afterwards with Donna called Growing Wings. And I still remember sitting there. And in fact, this was in the December. And I kept saying to her, I'm not getting any answers. And I think I drove her crazy saying over and over and over again, Donna, I'm not getting any answers. But what neither of us realized was the answers were already there. They were materializing. I just wasn't, I wasn't seeing it. And it took me a while before I could go back. And I don't even remember why there was that disconnect. I think I was just so focused on things have got to change. And I wanted this huge, big fanfare of change. And But I had it. I had rooted everything and I had changed everything. So for anybody who's looking for answers or who's struggling to find out what do I do and how do I change it, I just know something needs to change and I don't know how and I don't know where. Honestly, a dream map is the way to go. I, I can so recommend it. And that is, fact, in fact, why I became a facilitator for dream mapping. I've created Every year I've created another dream map and every year I've manifested things from that dream map and I've seen the people that I've taken through that process, how they have changed and the things that they have manifested from their dream maps. And most people have either kept the actual dream map or if they don't have the space, they've taken a photograph of it so that you can go back and see. You don't always see it at the time. But I would so, so recommend you. And if there's anybody who wants to jump in and do a dream mapping course, I'm running one on this Saturday in um, Chartwell. And just to add a little bit of a twist to the tale, I'm using horses. Um, I started working with Sharon and her horses a while ago. And the way that these things, the, the horses bring stuff up for you because horses just know how to be. They don't know how to be anything else. They're just a horse. For example, there's one horse there and he will, if you've got issues with boundaries, he will challenge you. He will come and he'll push you and he'll push you and he'll push you until you suddenly realize, hey, this is not on boy, so far and no further. And it teaches you to stand up for yourself in a gentle, nice, safe way. The other horses, oh, the one horse that I worked with, his name was Odin. He's no longer with us. And I didn't get to know him for very long. But something in him just, we just clicked together, this horse and I. And crumbs, I sobbed my heart out on him the one day just because he'd opened something and he helped me release stuff that I had been carrying for years and years and years. And I stuff that I'd forgotten about for ages. And just his absolute presence and just standing there and just accepting okay this is what this crazy woman needs to do not a problem let her go for it and yeah it's it's so fantastic to work with the horses so thanks very much for being with me today guys and if you know of anybody who is looking for something and looking for answers send them in the direction of the dream map thanks and have a fabulous wednesday bye